Hey guys, I'm at a gas sack chop shop, 10 Mile, Tennessee, with Mr. Tim Dixon. Tim's not here yet, but he should be soon. I just made a video of this 59 wagon that he just purchased out of Texas. We're in East Tennessee, by the way. And uh, it's just going to remind you he has a 59 El Camino, too. <laughs> I think Tim loves 59s. Pretty cool old car. He's put AC on it. Aftermarket. I mean, it looks like the original radio, but it's really aftermarket. Four speed. Pretty cool old car. It'll make a real nice addition with the 59 wagon over there. Tim always does this. <laughs> if you ever know, wonder if you've ever run across a Tim Dixon or Brian. Uh, GM 1038 Brian, they do the same thing. They put those uh, headlights in, the yellow ones, amber, whatever. Ain't that compass cool? Anyway, th I thought I'd show you this El Camino real quick. It needs some work, but hey, it's still here. 64 years old. I bought Tim that tag at a at a uh, old flea market thing just because he had this I thought it looked pretty cool you can run those tags here in Tennessee as long as you have uh, you know all your paperwork and stuff in order pretty cool old car I'd love to have this too I'd love to have them all I'm not, I'm not particular I thought I'd show you around real quick. This old C10 truck. I think it's a. I think it's a '86. Belongs to Tim. Tim said this is a good running old old truck here. Got nice wheels and tires on it. It's got the Corvette Corvette style bands on the you know beauty rings, the bands, what I call them. I know y'all seen this before if you've watched my channel. It was up there last time. I don't know what Tim's doing to it or has done to it. I don't have a clue. Kind of waiting on Tim to get back home. Oh, Henry J here. I've done a video of a few here a while back. I'll just walk around real quick, show you what Tim's got. It's got the two-wheel drive blazer. My wife and I cleaned up, put Penetrol on, painted the hood and, to match the rest of the truck and stuff. We do rattle can painting and... Uh, I don't to me it turned out real good it was mostly all black the hood was there wasn't much paint left so we kept adding some paint until we got it just about right where tim liked it put penetrol on it uh, last soon be soon be a year ago it's been sitting outside while it's dull painted the top painted the fiberglass top you know we we painted everything on this truck pretty cool old truck two-wheel drive like i said Tim's putting new carpet in it. He said, the last time I talked to him, he said he had this thing sold, but now. Everything's up for debate. <laughs> this is this one that's really cool. In my opinion, this is really cool. This gentleman, Jim. One year, I did. They didn't make many of these. Just maybe a couple of thousand. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, eighteen hundred something. Gentleman Jim. It's a GMC, factory GMC. Bucket seats, factory console. I think it's a 1976, 77. I'm trying to remember. 
But this is a real deal here. This is the real seats. I mean, they haven't been recovered. This is it. Gentleman Jim. Psst, come on, get out of there. Come on. That's a friendly cat. He'll follow you wherever you want to go. That's the original rims. That color. Gold and black. Uh... 350, 350. It's got the tack in it and everything. I know I've showed you all this before and I'm not trying to bore you. This is Angie's. Oh, I thought my wife was talking to me. She's talking to someone else on the phone. This is Tim's. That's Tim's. Tim's in the vans. I think I say that in just about every video. I, I, I'm not sure which ones are sold and which ones are not. I think this one's sold. I was going to try to buy this truck. This truck's from Alabama. And, uh, of course, I live in Tennessee. And I was going to try to buy this truck. And I found out, showed pictures to Tim to see what he thought about it. And he said, that's the same one I'm trying to buy. Been trying to buy from him. So I just kind of stopped and let him get it. Vans. This is the one he just recently purchased, like a couple of weeks ago. No motor or transmission. I know I've showed y'all this before. I don't mean to repeat myself. I'm just showing you around. This is, I think this is a one owner truck from California. That's about all I can tell you about it, really. No motor and transmission. Uh, vans this has been LS swap what is that like a 46 Chevy I guess Suburban not sure this is Tim's that he drives a lot vans vans <laughs> still waiting on Tim if y'all don't care I mean I don't mean to repeat myself or show y'all the same things, but if you don't care, I'll just walk around. We'll see what's back here behind Gas Axe Chop Shop. Tim is on Facebook. Just type in Gas Axe Chop Shop. Axe is A-X-E. Gas Axe Chop Shop. But while I'm waiting for him, he should have done been here by now, but he must have got held up. So, just kind of show you around here. And I'll, uh, Look, I'll uh, look for snakes as we walk along here. Vans. Vans. That truck always reminds me of my 78 GMC truck I had, Shannon. If you've been a long time subscriber, you remember that truck? Factory bucket seats, console truck. That's a blazer I was thinking about buying here a while back, but kind of glad I didn't I mean it was a it's a factory two-wheel drive but there's just too many parts missing and sometimes I think you might be better off just getting one a little bit further along just walking around real quick that's that old mercury I was talking to one of my friends about that the other day and he said he just bought one I said well Tim's got one back here this is a two-door it reminds me of James Dean. Every time I see that car, I think of James Dean. Remember that movie, Rebel Without a Cause? This is Whalen's truck. It works for Tim. Boy, the waspers are out here, I'm telling you. 60 El Camino. I was with Tim when he got this. And I told Tim about this van. This was at a drive-in that... Uh, they got rid of it at the drive-in. I'm not sure if the drive-in's still open or not now, but 62 Super Sport, 70 Monte Carlo, another van. Imagine that. Another van. Ford van. Like I said, Tim's kind of in the vans, isn't he? There's another 62 Super Sport. I'm not going to get too close, guys, because I'm telling you the Waspers are out. Another 62 Super Sport. I've showed y'all that a lot of times. 
so uh real quick i was going to show you something you don't see every day or at least i don't that's Wayland's truck that square body is this bronco you don't see them very often and i hope y'all don't mind walking around with me just for a little while i'm just killing time and just waiting on Tim to show up. It's a pretty cool old Bronco. Like I said, I'm not getting up close to nothing because it is wasper season. Snake season. Tick season. Ticks are bad this year already. So, I might have told y'all this before, but I'll tell you again. Oh, that belongs to my friend Flaming Freddy. He's on YouTube as well. Flaming Freddy. He can do just about anything. Anyway, what I was going to tell you was, uh, they said if you get bit by this guy on YouTube, I found his channel, and I don't know the name of the channel, but he was talking about getting snake bit, and he found a copperhead in his driveway. And of course, he was kind of nudging it around, you know, with a stick or a pole. I forgot now what he was doing, but he said if you get bit by a copperhead, here in the United States for the venom, anti-venom or whatever you call it, the, the medicine to, to stop the poison. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you know what I'm saying. It costs $14,000. If you go to Mexico or Canada, it's $140. Can you imagine that? Here in the United States, $14,000 if you get bit by a copperhead. And he said, he was talking about, he said, you get bit a time or two he said you're gonna be bankrupt and I was, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing you know wouldn't take much so I'm real I'm real leery of snakes and uh, ticks as well ticks are bad and my wife's got a couple of friends that's been bit by ticks and where she used to work at and uh, you know you can't you can't eat meat or dairy products I forget what all the stuff is but I mean, even if there's any hint of meat that's been fried or anything, it's a, uh, you know, they can't, they can't eat it like at a restaurant. Just think about all the things that you might eat at a restaurant, like a hamburger, and then they, then they might fry something else, and, you know, you won't be able to eat it. I'm just using that for an example, but. Well, guys. This is it for now. I guess I'll close this video out. I appreciate y'all spending a little time with me just walking around here at Gas Axe Chop Shop. Tim's number is 423-506-2693. And uh, his name's Tim Dixon. He's on Facebook. Type in Gas Axe Chop Shop. Axe is spelled A-X-E. You'll see a lot of these. You'll see a lot of these vehicles on his uh, Facebook page including some of mine before I even started YouTube. So, Tim's a good guy, one of my best friends, and he's crazy about me. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, appreciate y'all watching, guys. Hope y'all will tune in to the next video on Primate is Best. Don't forget I'm on uh, Instagram, Primate is Best, Facebook, Primate is Best, and, uh, of course, uh, YouTube. Got a second YouTube channel called Man on a Budget. And I'm on Instagram, Man on a Budget 1. Pretty cool car, isn't it? I love Henry J's. Oh yeah, I'm on, uh, yeah. Be sure to like and subscribe, I appreciate it. If you like old cars and old trucks. I mostly mess around at C10s and GMCs. Uh, Chevy C10s and GMCs and stuff. Square bodies is what I'm into here the last few years. So if you like that kind of stuff, you might want to subscribe. And, uh, you know, I'd, I'd appreciate if you'd watch and listen to an old man talk about a square body and stuff like that. So anyway, appreciate y'all watching, guys. And uh, like and subscribe. God bless each and every one of y'all. I'm at Gas Axe Chop Shop, 10 Mile, Tennessee. What a beautiful, beautiful day the Lord has made. It is absolutely gorgeous, but it's windy. But isn't the sky so pretty? God is good.
God is great. God is good. Thanks for watching, guys. Y'all have a blessed day, and I'll catch y'all in the next one, all right? I'll see y'all later.